Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the down arrow on our keyboard in order to move to the cell directly below us. We'll also look at how to use our mouse cursor in order to move to that same cell right below us. So if you're interested in this, let's get started now. All right, so we have Excel open here in which we have a couple of tables, the actual contents of the tables is not important. I don't actually think we need tables, but sometimes it's more interesting to learn how to do something in Excel when you have a set of data. So in our last three videos, we looked at using the right arrow key to move to our right, the left arrow key to move to our left, the up arrow key to move to the cell directly above us. So thus, in this video, we're going to look at how to use the down arrow key in order to move to the cell directly below us. The same rules here apply. So if you were on a cell, meaning that that cell is active, but not in a cell, meaning that you had the ability to enter information into the formula bar, assuming that that cell is active and that you're on that cell, you can then press the down arrow and that would move to the cell below you. Again, I'm gonna press the down arrow and I'll move to the next cell below us, down arrow and to the third cell below us. So again, if we were in a cell, meaning that we can make some changes, we can either click in here, we can put the number 12. You cannot press the down arrow and achieve the same result. Pressing the down arrow or the up arrow, or rather down arrow, up arrow. If you press the left arrow, it would move one character left. The right arrow would move one character left to the right, you would have to either press escape to cancel those changes and then you can press the down arrow or you could be in the cell and then once you're in the cell, you can press control enter to enter those changes and remain in your active cell that in our case would be I6 and then you press the down arrow and move one down or you can be in the cell, you can make whatever changes you want. We're gonna say, make this O2 we're going to enter those changes. And then if we want to enter the data and move to the cell below us, we would hit the enter key. The hitting the enter key would input that information into our cell. In that case, it would be cell I6 and then move us to this cell below, which in our case would be I7. So again, if you are on a cell rather than in a cell, you can press the down arrow and move to the cell below. If you are in a cell, such as this case, you can press either escape to cancel that and then the down arrow, or you can be in the cell and you can press shift enter down arrow, or you can be in the cell and you can press enter and it would automatically input that data into the cell and then move to the cell below. As we discussed in the previous videos, you can also just use your cursor. So if you are here and you want to move here, you can click even if you were in a cell and you wanted to move here, you could click and it would enter that information. So let's say that we were gonna make this one. You could click in the cell below and it would automatically input that information and go to that cell below. Very similar to hitting the enter key. So in this video, we looked at two strategies for moving to the cell below. The first strategy was to use our down arrow and the second strategy was to click with our cursor. More specifically, we left clicked with our cursor. With that, we have now covered the right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, and down arrow in this Navigating Excel section of our course. In the next portion of the section, we'll look at moving one screen to the right using the Alt key and the Page Down key. So check that out in our next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.